Over 50 years ago, a group of pioneers had a vision to explore new paths, look past the horizon for unearthed discoveries, and establish one of the premier research universities in the country. That university is UCI. And that vision is embedded into our DNA and has forged our path to greatness. Steeped in rigorous academics, progressive research, and collaboration, we bring people together from diverse backgrounds who have the insight to see things differently and the courage to see opportunity where others see impossibilities. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the sixth chancellor of UCI, Dr. Howard Gilman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. And what a good morning it is. Thank you so much for being with us on this historic day at UCI. I'm honored to be in the company of many esteemed individuals today. I'd like to formally recognize some of our wonderful elected officials who are sharing this occasion with us. Senators John Morlack and Josh Newman, Assembly Members Matthew Harper, Stephen Choi, and Sharon Quirk Silva, and Representatives of Congresswoman Mimi Walters, our thanks for your attendance and deep appreciation for your support. Thank you. <clears throat> a little more than a decade ago, UCI created a College of Health Sciences. The vision was simple have all of the health professions work together collaboratively and systematically to advance human health and well-being by fostering innovations in education, interprofessional training, research, and clinical practice. For the past few years, we have recommitted ourselves to this project, knowing that health has as much to do with behavior and lifestyle and wellness broadly defined as it does with the marvels of advanced methods for diagnosis and treatment of disease. It goes without saying that we need to continue to make groundbreaking discoveries on the determinants of disease and the efficacy of new clinical interventions. But a broader vision requires us to supplement these efforts by also making innovative contributions to the overall health of both individuals and society as a whole. For example, chronic disease accounts for 60% of deaths in Orange County, while the use of opioids has reached epidemic proportions nationwide. We can address these challenges and many more if we are diligent about mitigating the risks that lead to poor health and employing a wide range of approaches to fight disease including non-pharmaceutical alternatives and the use of technology. It means we should be as focused on improving health behavior as we are in improving surgical outcomes. As the campus knew more than 10 years ago, the perspective provided by a College of Health Sciences provides us with an extraordinary opportunity to establish a distinctive direction for health promotion at UCI. This long-imagined campus vision is now supported by two inspirational champions. Today I announce that we have received a gift in support of these efforts of $200 million. It is one of the largest donations ever made to a public university, and I am also proud to announce, in recognition of this gift, that all of these life-enhancing efforts will be organized within the Susan and Henry Samueli College of Health Sciences.
This gift catalyzes UCI's long-held yet distinctive belief in a truly integrative approach to health and well-being, with experts in the health professions working side by side and inviting the participation of all relevant disciplines so that all scientifically rigorous approaches can be marshaled in support of the college's fundamental mission. The mission of the Susan and Henry Samueli College of Health Sciences will be to educate the next generation of integrative health sciences professionals to transcend current boundaries, to foster clinical programs with an increased focus on lifestyle, prevention, wellness, and optimal health, and promote discovery of an expanded set of tools and platforms that foster a systems approach to health focusing on the whole person and the whole community, and inclusive of all forms of evidence-based healing, conventional and complementary. To advance this mission, $55 million of the gift will be used, along with campus resources, to build a home for the Susan and Henry Samueli College of Health Sciences on the corner of Bison and California with plans to locate the buildings for the affiliated health programs right by the college building. We see this becoming an even more brilliant entry point to our growing campus, a physical and symbolic gateway to education, discovery, public service, and health. The remaining $145 million will be a permanent endowment for the college, used to advance its mission with support for faculty recruitment, student fellowships and scholarships, research grants, clinical innovations, and community outreach. As part of achieving this vision, the existing Susan Samueli Center for Integrative Medicine will be elevated to become the Susan Samueli Integrative Health Institute and will be incorporated into the college. The Samueli's dedication their vision for what is possible and their deep generosity will help UCI set a standard that over time other health centers can follow. We've traveled together across the country reviewing leading health systems and academic medical centers. Many are moving in this direction, but they are doing so incrementally with progress often blocked by well-established silos and conservative cultures. By contrast, we will move comprehensively across all of the college's affiliated professions and disciplines with progress facilitated by our original pioneering culture and our ongoing spirit of innovation. I can confidently say that our college will be a first of its kind. Because time and time again, we have learned as a campus that you cannot copy your way to the top. Whether it was reorganizing the study of biology at the time of our founding or creating the first department of earth system sciences, our creed has been to blaze new trails and then watch others copy us. The Susan and Henry Samueli College of Health Sciences will position UCI as a leader in defining the future of transdisciplinary integrative health sciences research, education, and healthcare, and will allow UCI to become a national model for enhancing individual and population health. And this is only the first step. This gift will set in motion a larger effort to transform the health sciences portion of our campus beyond the new college building and the homes for the affiliated programs. As we prepare for our next campaign, we'll be working with all of you, our faculty, students, staff, partners, and supporters, to see how we can best take advantage of the momentum associated with this historic and transformational moment. We sincerely thank Susan and Henry for this incredible opportunity, and we can't wait for you to join us on this exciting journey.
Come with us to a new world. One where disease is conquered and undiscovered frontiers for wellness are mapped. A healthy world where pain is prevented rather than simply managed or tolerated. In this new world, Alzheimer's is not a foregone conclusion, and cancer never gets the chance to take hold. It's where our tenacity, paired with ingenuity, leads to longer, healthier lives. Where breakthrough research, combined with a team approach, creates personalized health care designed for every patient. Today we can see a brighter future. And it starts at the Susan and Henry Samueli College of Health Sciences at UCI. Dear friends, this gift does more than improve our campus. It is destined to save lives here and throughout the world by changing the way healthcare is delivered. And it would not be possible without the vision and generosity of Susan and Henry Samueli. I am honored to work with them to bring our shared vision to life. Please join me in welcoming them to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, Susan and Henry Samueli. Thank you, everyone. Wow, I, I know I have words to say, but one thing I want to say is it's different hearing it. And we planned this for an entire year. And now hearing it, it's going to be hard to get through my speech, but I'll try. <laughs> uh, I have been passionate about integrative health for most of my adult life. I firmly believe that health and well-being is achieved when conventional medicine is supplemented with evidence-based complementary and alternative medicine. And when we take a holistic approach to maintaining wellness throughout lifestyle, through, through lifestyle change and self-directed care, I certainly practice what I preach as our family, including Henry, a hardcore scientist and engineer, are fervent believers in an integrative approach to healthcare. And we have been actively using integrative practices for ourselves and our family for our entire marriage. Our foundation funded, funded a Center for Integrative Medicine at UCI in 2000, and it has flourished. We have seen the patient demand for integrative health practices grow steadily, and its popularity has been a dramatic increase in recent years. Patients clearly see the value in an approach that focuses on prevention, health, and wellness promotion and making use of broader set of evidence-based practices. Prevention and wellness promotion are critical components of reducing our long-term health care costs in this country. The U.S. is the world leader in creating advanced technology to treat acute disease, but the overwhelming majority of our health care costs are due to chronic illnesses such as diabetes, heart disease, and chronic pain. And unfortunately, most chronic illnesses eventually turn into acute illnesses and require expensive interventions. 
Transforming healthcare to an integrative health approach to address our chronic needs requires three things. First, a team approach to caring for the whole person. Second, integrative health education and training of health practitioners. And third, the combination of evidence-based complementary and conventional medicine and healing practices. Henry and I are very excited that the, a, major, a major university such as UCI based academic health center has the vision to adopt an integrative health philosophy across its entire enterprise. Credit goes to Chancellor Gilman and Vice Chancellor Federoff for their willingness to drive this vision forward. The breadth of impact across education, research, and clinical enterprise will be profound. We look forward to a faculty across the campus participating in this effort through multidisciplinary research and education opportunities, including newly created undergraduate and graduate courses across medicine, nursing, pharmacy, and population health disciplines to educate our future healthcare professionals about integrative health. We also look forward to expanded clinical services in the newly created Integrative Health Institute. So now, with evidence in hand, the timing is right to shift our system toward integrative health. Many clinicians are already using complementary practices as part of, of mainstream medicine. Medical students are demanding integrative health courses and experiences. The public is not only interested, but they are clamoring for it. The demand for services at our integrative health clinic is greater than the supply of practitioners. We have seen lives transform there, but we know that there are so many who cannot easily find this type of care elsewhere. To me and those who practice and research integrative health to get today, the question is not about whether it works. The question is, when will it become standard care for everyone? It cannot be soon enough. Thank you, everyone. One of the first questions Susan and I are asked when making such a significant gift is, how did it come to pass? Well, it certainly didn't happen overnight. Susan and I started our foundation in 1998 when Broadcom went public. And if you look over the past 19 years of its existence, the two largest areas of our giving have been STEM education, that is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and integrative health. Both strong passions of ours, and especially Susan's, in integrative health. Susan has completely converted me into an advocate for integrative health. <laughs> when I feel a cold or a flu coming on, rather than run to the doctor, I run to Susan to figure out which homeopathic remedy or Chinese herb I should be taking. Dr. Shaista Malik, who had Susan Center for Integrative Medicine at UCI, is my personal primary care physician, and I do visit her regularly for wellness checkups where she monitors my blood chemistry and adjusts my supplements and cholesterol meds to keep my numbers at optimum levels. She also makes sure I maintain a healthy lifestyle with proper nutrition and exercise. So thank you, Shaista and Susan, for your integrative approach to keeping me healthy. I'm fortunate to have you both guiding my health plan. One of the principal focuses of our foundation funding in integrative health over the years has been in the area of research into evaluating the efficacy of various complementary and alternative practices. Over the years, we have seen the evidence base validating these practices grow substantially. So we felt the time was right to look at ways to take Susan Center for Integrative Medicine to the next level. Over the past year, we brainstormed with Chancellor Gilman and Vice Chancellor Federoff, and we jointly formulated the vision for the College of Health Sciences that you are seeing here today. 
Susan and I couldn't be happier that our vision for the future of health was so well aligned with the vision of the UCI campus leadership. The human body is a very complex and highly interconnected system. Therefore, our health care needs to be looked at through a more holistic lens that encompasses a much broader viewpoint. Our genetics, our surrounding environment, our nutrition, our physical activity, and our mental state all play critical roles in our well-being. In addition, technology will also play an important role in the future of healthcare. And as an engineer, I am excited to see the advances in artificial intelligence, big data analytics, and ever improving sensors and devices to monitor personal health. This breadth of knowledge presents some very exciting opportunities for interdisciplinary research across the various schools and departments on the UCI campus. UCI has the ability to put together teams of experts in all the relevant disciplines spanning the health sciences, the social sciences, engineering, computer science, and other fields to address the future vision of healthcare. We hope this interdisciplinary focus on integrative health will become a national model for other universities to follow. Alongside this expanded research capacity, we will be expanding the clinical services in the newly created Susan Samueli Integrative Health Institute. New healthcare practitioners will be hired in the clinic, and the clinic will be expanded to meet the demand and provide additional services to the public. If our gift can play a small role in helping define what the future of healthcare will look like, then we will consider it a huge success. And what will this success look like? In the near term, it is the completion of a building for the College of Health Sciences filled with students and faculty focused on the various integrative health disciplines, which results in a new generation of researchers, practitioners, and supporters of integrative health. But success in the grand scheme is for patients to have the ability to see, for example, a surgeon when they need to, but also have their care complemented with a team of other practitioners who foster healing and promote well-being following their acute care. Success is a future in which these healing practices and team care will be covered by insurance. Success is a future where prevention through nutrition and self-care approaches improves our health and well-being and reduces our nation's health care cost burdens. None of this will happen without training the next generation of practitioners in integrative health and without continued research. This is why we are investing so significantly here at UCI. We have a lot of work ahead of us, and it will take many years for these transformations to occur. But with the collective wisdom we have here at UCI among the students, the faculty, the professional staff, and the campus leadership, we are off to a great start. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vice Chancellor for Health Affairs and CEO of the UCI Health System, Dr. Howard Federoff. Well, good morning. Today I enthusiastically add my perspective on integrative health to those of my team. 
The naming of the College of Health Sciences propels us towards an inflection point. Simply stated, it produces a nucleating event which together with UCI Health promises to deliver tomorrow's health and well care today. More than 20 years as a health care provider compelled my entry into academic medical center leadership largely to seek an answer to this question. How can we do more for every patient? Trained as a physician scientist with a research background in genetics, I came to the realization several decades ago that our current clinical approaches were insufficient to improve the health of populations. Change, while needed, would be met with cultural challenges. A relatively conservative physician guild, resistance to share responsibility with team-oriented providers, an exuberant focus on reducing the patient's presenting problems to a molecular mechanism, and a dearth of evidence supportive of newer approaches. In effect, notwithstanding the promise of leveraging the genome, molecular medicine, and the prospect of better medicines, we were still not improving population health. Many of us concluded that there must be a better way. What was missing? Some of us adopted a more holistic approach or systems approach to reimagine health and healthcare wherein the, we factor into the patient's presentation the role of the environment, the family inclusive of social determinants, nutrition, and broader community. In essence, believing the interconnectedness of these factors is likely to be important and contributory to the patient's presentation. Others began to explore the basis for targeted prevention of disease with the intention to intervene early, ideally before clinical symptoms occur. Others were experimenting with new care delivery models featuring multidisciplinary care. And importantly, there were still others evaluating the clinical effectiveness of complementary and alternative approaches now known to be a cornerstone of integrative health. So which of these initiatives gained the most ground? As true in all standardized testing, the answer is most evidently choice E, or all of the above. The zeal to bend the cost curve created a forcing function, the Affordable Care Act, yes, the same ACA that the current administration is threatening to unravel. The ACA directed attention to the triple aim and in so doing created an architecture that fosters innovation that may improve population health, the patient experience, and to do so more economically. Heretical stuff, some might say. But in the end of it, it was about the transition from volume to value-based care. The question was how to get there. The main quip about driving directions you can't get there from here was untenable. Enter the burdening potential of integrative health. Having had the pleasure of getting to know Susan and Henry Samueli, I found it clear that Susan was not only prescient, but also unflaggingly persistent. Her and Henry's passion and philanthropy created the integrative medicine unit known as the Susan Samueli Integrative Medicine uh, Unit some 17 years ago, and through thoughtful stewardship and partnership with UCI Health, the enterprise has flourished. As is the case with many ideas, acceptance may be more about timing. With unrelenting passion, Susan and Henry collaborated on the concept for the eponymous College of Health Sciences and the Susan Samueli Integrative Health Institute recognizing that the Institute will be the transformative vehicle. We designed it to recruit preeminent scholars, rising mid-career stars, and the most promising young faculty, thus ensuring that cutting edge work is the standard. These faculties will be members of departments and schools within the college. We further envisage that the faculty across the campus and with those in the college will attract the most talented undergraduate, graduate, and health professional students. Support for these students will create a pipeline and consequently produce the next generation of integrative health experts. In all domains, 
of the tripartite mission, research, education, and clinical care, our mandate for integrative health science is that the deployment of approaches will always be backed by the best evidence. Not only will this institute drive new practices, it will also be connected to the community and serve outreach activities throughout the county and beyond. The Susan and Henry Samueli College of Health Sciences Home for Schools of Medicine, Nursing, and the Inevolution Schools of Pharmacy and Population Health will become a beacon for motivating change amongst healthcare professionals, embracing inter- and multidisciplinary scholarship, education, and practice. The college will leverage UCI Health to elevate new care delivery paradigms and accordingly extend access to all in Orange County and beyond. We will always be a safety net for all who need care and anticipate through the inclusion of integrative health modalities becoming the provider of choice for many of our staff, faculty, and students. Truly an opportunity to rocket population health to the future. Let's collectively get our chi on. <laughs> I, I would like to introduce the college leadership. These people, along with many colleagues among the health sciences faculty and staff, will indeed pave the way for a future rooted in integrative health. Addy Naimathy, distinguished professor of nursing and founding dean of the Sue and Bill Gross School of Medicine, <laughs> nursing. <laughs> Michael Stamos, professor of surgery and dean of the UCI School of Medicine. <laughs> Deli Oganshatan, Professor of Public Health, Professor of Social Ecology, and Director of the Program in Public Health. <laughs> Richard Chamberlain, Professor of Chemistry and Professor of Pharmaceutical Sciences and Chair of the Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences, who unfortunately could not be with us today. And Dr. Shaista Malik, Executive Director of the Susan Samueli Integrative Health Institute and Associate Vice Chancellor for Integrative Health. This is the team. Good morning to all. Imagine a healthcare system that considers the person within the context of her or his cultural, environmental, and spiritual existence and embraces a philosophy of the whole person treated within a whole system care approach. Wouldn't it be fabulous if the fabric of this ideal be delivered by interdisciplinary teams of healthcare professionals that include nurses, physicians, pharmacists, and public health professionals whose deep expertise in their fields are combined to complement and advance through discovery and innovation the health of individuals and populations. For a decade, the faculty of what is now the Sue and Bill Gross School of Nursing, the School of Medicine, Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences, and the Program in Public Health at UCI have dreamed of this day. Now, thanks to the vision of Susan and Henry Samueli, together we can leverage our shared knowledge, skills, and leadership to advance a new model of well-being. In realizing this dream, we will help people take charge of their own health, build individual capacity and resilience, and help people attain their full health potential. This transformative gift will fuel the innovative spirit of integrative health and will harness the best in prevention science 
and to empower health professionals at the bedside and in our communities to provide outstanding and compassionate care and re-energize the core values among healthcare professions to more effectively provide for the overall well-being of individuals, families, and communities. We take our, seriously our obligation to train tomorrow's healthcare providers and are excited by the Samueli's vision. The faculty of the Susan and Henry Samueli College of Health Sciences will reimagine the way science-based approaches to whole person health is conceptualized and taught to future generations of students trained as nurses, physicians, pharmacists, and public health professionals. As Susan Samueli has always envisioned, this remarkable gift will empower us collectively to nourish and support the innate healing capacity and well-being of individuals, families, and communities into an integrative body, mind, spirit perspective. I am proud to say that nurses, as long ago influenced by Florence Nightingale in her vision of whole person and healing, have always embraced and valued the complexities of providing compassionate care to individuals and families. However, this magnificent gift will, with definitive purpose and commitment, enable and empower nurses and our colleagues in medicine, pharmaceutical sciences, and public health to focus together and in unity. We will focus on the science of healing, wherein all aspects of patient care, the physical, the emotional, spiritual, behavioral and environmental need to be considered as critical to stimulate healing. I will end by emphasizing what Mary Jo Kreitzer, who has a PhD in nursing, an inspiration to me and a leader in integrative health at the University of Minnesota states so beautifully. The critical ingredient in any healing practice can never solely be conventional healing practice conducted by nurses or physicians, or the pharmacist's supply of pills, or the wise words of counseling regarding ways to ward off disease and promote healthy behaviors. Rather, and more importantly, it is the person who is delivering these procedures, skills, and integrative modalities of care. It is now my pleasure to introduce my esteemed colleague and leader of the new Susan Samueli Integrative Health Institute, Dr. Shaista Malik. Thank you, everyone. Life expectancy around the world have steadily increased in recent decades. Yet, right here in the United States, uh, it will soon plateau. Though many of us are living longer, uh, we're more and more living with chronic disease. Prior to my involvement with Susan Center, I was the Director of Preventive Cardiology at UCI Health. As a trained cardiologist and a physician scientist, I see the toll of heart disease, the number one killer of people in the United States firsthand, and 90% of it is preventable, as is 80% of chronic disease. It's clear that our healthcare system must take a different approach to manage the health of individuals and populations. The practice of modern medicine is amazing. Don't get me wrong, in the middle of an acute heart attack, Getting a stent to avert that heart attack is a technological marvel. But where it falls short is that acute care from being needed at all. Integrative health is a way to fill that gap. 
Although we're very good at providing great procedures for acute care, it's a lack of resources for the care before and the care after that's there. Integrative health approaches health holistically. It's not just about physical health. It's about encompassing emotional, spiritual, social, and environmental influences that determine our health and well-being. Earlier, Dr. Fedorov discussed the practice of integrative health, highlighting its holistic and transdisciplinary na nature. A key to wider adoption in clinical education and research settings is the availability of evidence to demonstrate that this approach improves outcomes. The generous gift announced today from Susan and Henry provides us an unprecedented ability to recruit researchers, clinical providers, and educators to engage in more collaborative work that will seek additional evidence for holistic systems-based approach to managing health. It will allow us to go upstream and engage in preventing disease. I'm in awe of what we're witnessing here this morning. Um, this took the confluence of several things. It took Susan's pioneering vision and her powerful decades-old belief in integrative health. It, she actually believed in this before the term integrative ever even came into being and helped create our center 17 years ago when there were only a handful of academic medical centers doing this. It took the scientist and innovator in Henry understanding and appreciating the breadth of disciplines that need to be involved to solve the grand health challenge in front of us. And it took our own Chancellor Gilman and Vice Chancellor Fedorov and their progressive thinking outside the box and applying this broad mission to transform the health sciences in an unprecedented fashion. There is tremendous work uh, all of us here need to do to improve and advance our current practice of medicine and bring this new vision and mission to life. We have to provide the evidence that this way of practicing improves health and outcomes, it decreases cost and inefficiency, and it's not just for a select few, but truly accessible to all. It is only then and there that there will be broad integration and reimbursement for this kind of care. And although there's a lot of evidence for integrative medicine built on decades of research to the point that major medical associations and regulatory bodies like the Joint Commission have written guidelines and statements supporting the role of complementary and alternative modalities in various aspects of healthcare, there are still areas of integrative medicine that remain anecdotal or case-based, and it is our challenge to create scientific rigor around this field so that can, it, it can truly exist side by side with modern and conventional medicine. There's a parallel between integrative health and systems medicine, a concept that's emerged from the study of biology. Systems medicine looks at biological interactions with behavioral and environmental factors and seeks to understand these components and how they contribute to the course of health. As we go upstream, advances in systems medicine help us understand root causes of disease, and then integrative medicine provides the tools to help us address these root causes and change the trajectory of our health and well-being. The existing specialty-driven method of healthcare delivery and medical education too often maintains a narrow focus on a biological pathway, an organ system, or a disease process. This was in part because of the limitations of science and technology of the time. 
We are now in an era of grand technological advances that individuals like Henry Samueli have helped propel. These advances allow us now to think more broadly. We have the ability to understand how systems interact with each other, figure out the interconnectedness of uh, different systems, and apply this understanding to the prevention of disease. Another key is creating a common language so that healthcare professionals, whether they're pharmacists, nurses, physicians, or public health professionals, understand that addressing and managing someone's health is not simply about prescribing this drug or ordering that test. We should all know and feel empowered to act on that understanding that a patient can see a nutritionist to help guide their diet, or they can see an acupuncturist to help control their pain. This is where the interprofessional training comes in. We will meet the challenge of more effectively managing individual and population health as part of a team. And how powerful will it be when we all come together from our own perspectives and collaborate on creating health? At the Institute, we have expanded our provider tent. Alongside primary care physicians and specialists, we have naturopathic doctors, osteopathic doctors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, and nutritionists who team up to deliver the best care possible. Finally, this way of thinking requires a different mindset to bring disciplines to bear on health problems in a way that just a few years ago would not have been considered relevant. And UCI is now positioned through the Susan and Henry Samueli College of Health Sciences to advance that. Thank you, Susan and Henry, for your tremendous generosity, for your grand vision, and for allowing us to dream big with you. In the years to come, we will work hard to ensure that your vision comes to life and that integrative medicine just becomes medicine. There is no better way to see the power and effectiveness of integrative medicine than through the eyes of a patient. I'd like now to introduce you to one of ours, Patty Porto. Thank you. My name is Patty Porto, and I am not a young person. Hi. Hi, Patty. Welcome. Hey. Oh, a few years ago, I was going through menopause, and I was really angry. I'm having a really hard time, and nobody's listening to me. <laughs> I definitely needed help. At UC Irvine Health, having a patient-centered approach is the key to achieving health and wellness. I got involved with the Samueli Center, and it changed my whole life. So, Betty, you're back. I'm back. <laughs> when I started going there, I was feeling so bad, I would have tried anything. I am very enthusiastic to see a great improvement in all the parameters. It's not a 15-minute appointment. They spent at least an hour with you listening to all of your concerns. I got on the right supplements and vitamins. I wasn't on the same medicines that everybody else was on. Integrative medicine combines the best of the East and the West. This combination is going to truly make a significant difference. I got involved in running because I felt so good. I lost 35 pounds. I went from a size 12 to a size 6. And I was like, wow, I wish I had found this place earlier. Imagine if I had found it when I was 40. If you have a patient who's now empowered, they're going to see results. They're going to be successful. Since 2009, I've run two marathons. I ran the second marathon with my daughter, which was so much fun. She told all her friends at work, my mom could do anything. She can do anything. If she puts her mind to it, she'll do it. 
That got me into thinking if I could do a marathon, perhaps I could do a triathlon. I can already swim a mile in my pool. One, breathe. My goal isn't time. Breathe. My goal is to finish. What's important to understand about living healthier lives, it's not just about living longer, it's living fully. People at work say to me, oh, wait till you get my age. And I don't want to say to them, well, I'm already older than you. I'm amazed myself at how great I feel. And I attribute that all to the Samueli Center. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Patty Porto. Thank you. I love the Samueli Center UCI and all the professionals who've done such an amazing job taking care of me. They have made it possible for me to do things I never thought I would be doing at my age. Since the video was filmed, I've done 11 sprint triathlons. <clears throat> that consists of an 800-yard swim, a 15-mile bike ride, and a three-mile run. I've also done 11 covathlons in the Newport Beach Back Bay, which consists of a 1,000-yard swim and a three-mile run. I'm ranked number 14 in the state of California for women in my age group, and I'm in the... <laughs> and I'm in the top 10% for women in my age group in the United States. Thanks to the Samuel Lee Center UCI, I feel so much stronger than I did 30 years ago, and I'm accomplishing so much more. Next year, I'm planning on doing an Olympic distance triathlon, which consists of a 1,500-yard swim, a 25-mile bike ride, and a six-mile run. And who knows, one day, I might even try a half Ironman, all because I feel great. I sincerely hope the Samueli gift will make it possible for many more people to experience the benefits of good health like I have. If this is aging, bring it on. <laughs> Thank you. That's an inspiration. Patty, good job. She'll be training all of you in your upcoming triathlons, so uh, look forward to that. So obviously we are incredibly fortunate to have partners who care so passionately about the health of our communities and are determined to make the world a better place. Susan and Henry, I'd like to invite you back to the stage. Do you all think you can offer some encouragement to get them back? Uh, Okay. <laughs> right over here. It sounds good though, still, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. Local. We are awestruck by the depth of your passion and commitment, and humbled and inspired by your faith in us all. We're grateful for this historic gift and also for the gift of having your names associated with the vital work of this College of Health Sciences. So to commemorate this great day, I would like to present you with this crystal award. Henry, it's a little heavy, so you got it. The inscription reads, in recognition for your vision and inspirational leadership for UCI, for transforming, transforming healthcare and health education in our community and beyond. Your extraordinary generosity 
will impact generations to come. You will see inside a laser 3D medallion, which includes today's date, the name of the college and the mission, Innovation Through Integrative Health, as a way of symbolizing your connection with all of the wonderful people associated with the College of Health Sciences, every person here today will receive an actual medallion. Be sure to pick yours up on the way out so that you also can remember this day and remain inspired. We sincerely thank those of you associated with the college, along with the faculty, students, and staff, for the hard work and dedication that led us to this historic day. So our partnership is forged. We now start the work of transforming health and health care because the true commemoration of today is the contribution that the Samueli College will have on our region, on the world, and on generations to come. Great days call for exciting celebrations. Let's kick ours off with a virtual fireworks show. Thank you everyone, let's continue the celebration at the reception. Thank you all so much for being here.